Welcome back, any lovers. Today we are checking out Breachway. So gonna grab yourself a plate. This is gonna be the Steam Next Fest demo that has not made its way. This is gonna be an updated demo that hasn't made its way to um, the actual Steam story yet. This should be available as of Monday, which I'm very excited for you guys to check this game out because it is phenomenal. So let's gonna hop in here and check out the game for a little while. It is a deck building sci-fi roguelike where the ship upgrades and crew management are your key to survival. So let's get rolling here. I'm gonna let the prologue play through because I don't remember exactly how to perfectly play it. And I kind of want to give you guys a chance to check out the things as well. Let's go, Joe. A sudden jolt awakens you as you hear a distant beeping of doors opening. As reality creeps back in, you slowly recognize your surroundings. The cramped confines of the quarters on the outlets. Lena Starling. Hey, wake up. The captain wants to see us on the command deck. He seems pretty agitated and you look groggy as hell, so just let me do the talking. And there's an unusual flurry of activity as you enter the command deck. The captain, studying the data feed on one of the consoles, beckons the two of you over. Good, you're here. Our sensors picked up a large explosion in Solari space at the research station. Something went wrong there. So this might be our big break then? A chance to turn the scavenging machine around and not go home empty-handed? Exactly. We're closer to the station than any of the Solari fleets in the state system. We can't risk approaching with the Atlas, however, as we'll be picked up by the fleet scanners. However, a small ship like the Magpie launched at the current speed could get there undetected, running a minimal reactor capacity and using only maneuvering thrust for path further path adjustments. With all due respect, sir, the fireworks will likely attract other scavengers by the time we get there. Which is why the lieutenant here is tasked to protect the magpie in case things go south. I'll sever a team while you make the necessary necessary pre preparations. Report to the docking bay in 30 minutes. Sure. This is the ship status screen. You can view statistics such as your hull, number, and type of hard points, starting equipment, and crew. Each piece of equipment contains a few starting cards and a capacity to add more cards as you play. Uh, equipment requires an assigned crew member to function. If you want a better look at your ship, you can orbit the camera while keeping the left mouse button pressed and use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Once you're done inspecting your ship, click on the accept button and then, okay. So I can do this. Oh, I like this. I didn't think this was in here the first time we played. It's cool. Look at the guy just floating. It's like, don't worry, I got this. I guess because space is right there, so I guess you kind of got to be floating. Oh, look at him little kick those little feet. Okay, okay, I could, we could do this. Let's turn sound effects down a little bit. Let's accept it, Magpie, go. All right, we've just followed the nav points I laid out. We should be at the wreckage in about two days and then we'd rendezvous back to the Atlas. We just stick to the asteroid belt as much as we can to avoid detection, easy. I really don't see why the captain decided to pitch you in charge of my ship. Watch your tone. While we're on this mission, this is your new this is your new captain. Come on now. We got a mission to do. You can fight all you want once we're back to the hauler. Soon things settle down and everyone is at the assigned post. The time to start familiar, familiarizing yourself with the ship's command console. So this is where I am, right? I gotta go here. Your console flashes a warning indicating combat near your flight path. Not long after, the infrared sensors flare as the ship explodes. The remaining ship changes course heading in your direction. There's no way these sensors spot, spot us. We'll be running cold for almost a day now. Just our luck then. Our flight path will take them right within radar detection range. This is your hand of cards displaying the actions you could take each turn. Each card requires resources to play shown at the number in the lower part of the card. This is your resource panel. The colored number next to the icon indicates your current energy. The white number shows your energy income at the start of the turn. Resources carry over between turns. Enemy actions are based on their equipment. Each piece of equipment has a card slot indicating the next action. Cards gain one pip each turn. When all pips are filled, the card's border turns white and seemingly will be played in the next turn. You play cards by dragging and dropping them over the crosshair region. Attack the enemy by placing two slight cards to advance.
and turn to advance. Shields are your primary defense with each shield point blocking one damage. Shields have at the start of each turn to so deploy shield cards just before an enemy attacks at maximum effectiveness. The enemy ship is about to attack. Play a block card to prevent whole damage from the enemy's incoming attack. Let's do that. In Breachway, you played cards don't reshuffle into the draw pile once it is empty. Instead, they enter a cooldown pile for a set number of turns shown next to the card icon. Cards icon. I mean three. After cooling down, cards return to your draw pile. Manage your cards so you always have some off cooldown and ready to be drawn. Press tab or click this. Oh, okay. Persistent effects on your shield ship appear above your card hand. Oh, like here. Some effects last for a set amount of turns while others have an upkeep condition you have to meet. Oh. Okay, so if I do this, like that. Oh, he's getting ready to attack. Has four health left. Slice them. Need one. Dang. The area started to get pretty lively. We should expect more combat on our approach to the station. Looks like we're not the only ones stupid enough to raid a Solari facility. Too late to hide our presence now. Ask for permission to restore the reactor's ordnance prep protocol. That should allow us to squeeze some more power out of it. It will also improve a laser's photon output. Let's do it. I Captain, I should able it to emit concentrated laser pulses. Won't be a military grade laser, but it'll be close. You now have access to the ordnance resource. Ordnance is the main resource for attacks. Open your ship status screen just now to inspect your resource pool. Right there. You have one unlocated resource power. Left click on the ordnance to add your extra retort. There we go. You can redistribute reactor power between your resources at any time. Right click on the energy to remove two power from it. Oh. There you go. Your power distribution should be as indicated below. It is. Let's close the ship screen, click on the button again. We got a ship closing in on the attack, attack vectors. Looks like pirates. Oh, for the beam sweep. Okay, I see what you mean. You can redistribute reactor power anytime in combat. Right click on the resource type to remove one power unit. Left click to add. This lets you shift resource income. Adding one power to the resource generates one heat. Heat changes take place after playing the next card. Ships have a heat resistance and dissipation value. Resistance is the amount of heat a ship ship can safely sustain before overheating. Dissipation is the amount of heat removed at the end of the turn. Every point of overheat deals one whole damage to start your turn. Oh. Okay, so it's gonna take away one heat every single turn. You're gonna raise a laser pulse me, it looks. So let's block. That's gonna ignite him. And that pits a little fire in them. Enemy is charging up a heavy blast. We need to take out that laser. Cards with a point, like the laser, are precision attacks that can target specific enemy and equipment. Drag and drop these cards over the enemy equipment card in the UI over the place. Okay. Each enemy piece of equipment has a durability value icon. When durability hits zero, the equipment breaks, preventing any actions. Enemy equipment is automatically repaired in three turns. Durability damage from precision cards is indicated by the... Oh, you can right click to discard unwanted cards, freeing up a slot for the new draw next turn. Discarded cards go on cooldown as they played. Let's see. Let's go with this. You 
you can right click to discard on one card, freeing up slot for new draw. Yeah, but I'm not gonna do that because I need to get rid of this guy. So there we go. I was gonna say it again. To be like, hey, by the way, did you know? Oh, it's getting rid of heavy blast, isn't it? got rid of one of the things there we go. whatever I mean I, I I lose one so check on the flash and subsystem to add it to your cargo bay captain we should hook up the mass refiner module to the reactor it's crucial for improving the reactors power output and strengthen the magpie shield system it was originally meant for deflecting dust and minor asteroids, but not high powering lasers. I can modify it to suspend high density particles in its magnetic field, diffusing laser beams and absorbing kinetic energy. This improves defense, but requires mass. We will also salvage a functional subsystem from that ship. I'm sure we could fit it to good use. My help gets out of this one piece. I'll be claiming that as reparations for my ship when we're back at the Atlas. The magpie will need a new coat of paint once all this is over. You can upgrade a reactor with credits you gain on the journey. Let's do it. Upgrade it. You now have the mass resource used for upgrades and repairs. Subsystems enhance compatible equipment and their cards with various effects. Drag and drop the subsystem onto your modified cutter for the application. Only one subsystem of the same type can be added to equipment. Okay. So now it adds one heat when it does it. Okay. Cool. The remains of a ship are in view. Things seem quiet, but the tension in the crew is palatable. Judging by the infrared emissions, there should be some functional equipment we can salvage in the section over there. Uh, wait, look at the, look at the fluctuation in these readings. I'll bet you a week's rashes that there's a ship lying away to spring an ambush. Prep the laser and let's go around to get the jump on them instead. Let's do it. Do I do the civilian ship? Crew members have abilities you can activate at will during combat. To inspect crew abilities, hover over a crew member's portrait. Abilities do not regular reg, do uh, abilities do not regular resources. Instead, they cost command points and have a cooldown after use. Your command point capacity is determined by the amount of crew on board. Okay. Next attack play this turn deals 50% damage. Gain two of every resource. Oh, wow. Uh, next shield card play this gives 50%. Okay. Interesting. All right, you're getting ready to... You're getting ready to have a field day with me, aren't you? Sorry, my computer chair is broken. It, it, <laughs> my computer chair actually sinks down to the ground now. Get shit ton of damage. I am. 
Incoming enemy missile, you can track missiles at the lower left part of the screen above your hull points. Missiles have a delay of one or more turns before they hit. You can defend against missiles by playing shield cards or shooting them with the special missile defense cards. gonna suck his holes on fire now kill him so let's go over the block and we'll knock out their missiles there we go okay we're good now click on the flash of equipment to add it to your cargo bay click on the add card button to select a card to add to any piece of equipment in your ship that has available card slots I feel I love that Gain four. Remove from battle once played. I like that. That's quite good. Gain two percent shield points required. Shielded. Oh, uh, so I have to shield before I shield. Deals three damage. Two times. So it's damage total and it hits something. Oh. Really faster. Morale determines the rate at which your command points recharge in either node. Some choices and events can correct it, correct it permanently or temporarily. Area clear, no further hostiles in the engagement zone. Deploying a recon drone for the sweep of the wreckage. Look behind that plate in that black box is the station's main data storage and backup unit. It's bound to have a lot of valuable resource data we could sell. Who knows what we're cooking here? Are you out of your mind? If the slurry catch us, wind of us stealing that, we're good as good as dead. We need a new air recycling and ventilation system back at the station, don't we? This is why we went on the scavenger run in the first place. This will bring in enough credits for that and more. Enough squabbling. We got a limited uh, window before more hostiles arrive. Our orders were to retrieve all value of salvage. Let's get to work. Do it. Quickly works to retrieve the black box and fill the magpie's cargo bay with any valuable salvage they can find. After work is done, you set course for the rendezvous move point. Open this. Drag the equipment to the cargo bay into the launch bay. And the cards from the equipment to your deck. Nice. Oh, I have an artificial intelligent gunner. They're level zeros. I mean, they could gain levels over time. But they food point. They come in tight being transmission from the Atlas. Now, I find this is the Atlas. We got a situation. The Solari have flagged us for interrogation. They've most likely got all their sensors pointing us until we meet up with their patrol ships. Any attempt to pick you up would incriminate us both. We we will be fine, but I'm afraid you have to return to the station on your own. Keep your burn minimal and maintain a low profile until you're clear. Roger that, Captain. Stay clear. I heard about Solari interrogation methods. I wouldn't want to be on the Atlas right now. There's an alternative right we could take that would keep us away from any major flight corridors, a known Solori flight. Should work. We have enough Delta V and the remaining fuel to get us to the station. Let's do it. That'll take us th straight through deadweight controlled territory, though. A solitary savage ship is sure to attract some attention from those pirate scum. So we can't go this way. There are two path types of uh, two path types of breachway. Main pass, shown as the blue line, allowing only forward movement. Secondary pass, marked with thin yellow lines, permanent. Uh, permit both forward and backward movement. Moving on a node in a second path consumes one fuel. Oh. So I have to go this way. 
Captain, we've been in intercepted a distress call. A civilian transport is under attack by the deadweight raider. They won't last long without our intervention. If we reroute power to the thrusters or max burn, we could intercept in time, pulling the raider's focus. That's too risky. It would leave us exposed during the approach. Dead the deadweight could attack us freely and we'd be defenseless until combat systems are online. It's a calculated risk. Diverting their fire from the transport to us is the only way to save that ship. Um, let's go with the plus more morale. You divert all powers to the engine and fire up the thrusters to their max capacity. Before long, the deadweight ship stops firing at the civilian and turns its attention to you. The enemy ship has a flak cannon. Flak inflicts random damage within a range. Attacks have a shredding of value. Hold damage from the flak attack is, is equal or higher than the attack's shredding value. Triggers a shred status effect on the target. Each shred stack raises flak's minimal damage by one. Shred decreases it by one if not reapplied in a turn. Holy crap, shredding five. Okay, well. That was a good hit. Ignite three. Oh shit, it has ignite. Here was the flak again. Knock out the flak. There we go. Now it's defenseless. There we go. Deal four damage. Next turn, enemy attack deals less two damage. Oh. Deal eight damage after two requires three reduction. Do I have that? Am I, is that my thing? I think I do. That's a good one, though. If you don't have any shields, add 12 shield points at one duration. Otherwise, add six shield points. That's really good, too. Gain one shield point every time you play a laser eye on attack. Oh. this thing PD, a pdc burst if missile incoming destroy one missile else deal to damage no visual effect the point defense system you salvage from the enemy goes in the aux mount providing effective defense against enemy missiles aux equipment operates without a crew member who doesn't add any extra card slot in combat uh-huh Come across an abandoned repair station. A large part 
of it has been stripped clean by scavengers, but upon closer inspection, one of the maintenance bays still seems to be functional. The dock an attempt to do some repairs. It might not like it, but some of the equipment here is actually in good working condition. Your engineer gets to work with the assistants for the rest of the crew. A few hours later, the hull looks better. Nice. Sir, a gunship just appeared in front of us out of nowhere. They must have some stealth tech that kept them hidden from the citizens. We got an incoming hail. Dodger through. There you are, little magpie. We've been looking forward to having a word with you. This doesn't need to get messy. Hand over the data core you've got on your hold, and you'll fly away unscathed with the rest of the salvage. Power down and prepare for boarding. Captain, if we power down our reactor, we're good as dead. We're dead either way. We can't take a light cruiser on in this ship. Then we go down swinging. I'm not taking orders from a pirate. Let's go. It saddens me to hear your choice. Uh, you choose violence, Captain. The data core is designed to withstand thermal nucleus blast. Don't expect us to hold back. So they, it will survive the uh, explosion, and we get to fight. Careful, that's red shot can shoot down our missiles. Oh, thank you. So don't use a missile right now. missile still get hit with a missile haha <laughs> that oh that was max jeez ow There's so many cards. What am I supposed to do here? This is not a winnable attack, is it? Really? Oh my god, what? Targets locked, missiles away. Oh shit. Is that me? Is that for, for me? I got you, Captain. Oh, it doesn't have the... Okay. Looks like we arrived just in time, Captain. The director dispatched us for your safe return after hearing about the Atlas incident. We'll continue to pursue pursuit of that ship. Your path to the station is secured. Oh, nice. 
Home station up ahead, Captain. Prepare docking procedures. Once docked, the station's spin gravity kicks in. You and your crew disembark and head to your station quarters to rest while dock workers start unloading the cargo bay. He always later you're called to meet the station director in the office. I thought our researchers look at the data you brought back at the black box. While heavily encrypted, Rin managed to extract some data from the research they were conducting on the station. It has to do with an anomaly that swept through our system a while ago, knocking out a large part of electronics. The equipment aboard the research station was able to extract some sort of information from it, leading them to believe it was a message or signal of unknown origins. Their data shows multiple star systems from the breachway network that were similarly affected, which led them to trace the trajectories of the set of coordinates converge. Whatever it may be, the information is too dangerous to keep here. The Solari will come looking for it sooner or later. They're already moving their fleets to close the system's breachway access point. They don't want this getting out. Take the black box with you and leave. Rin will accompany you to try and further decrypt the data. Judging by the Solari response, the signal might lead to something important that could shift the balance of power. Me and Ivan are joining you as well. We want to see this to the end. I am preparing a Corvette-class gunship in the hangar for you. Posing as a mercenary will allow you more freely within the breachway network without raising suspicion. Once you are ready to leave, head to the Serenum system in the breachway network and from there start making your way towards the signal. This should make it more difficult for the Solari to connect you to this whole thing. Godspeed, Captain. That was one hell of an intro, huh? Look at all the things. So you have an Arbalist, a Marauder, and a Lancer. Let's see if different people here. Interesting. There's a launch bay, there's a utility hard point, there's an auxiliary mount, there's an extension. What's the other ones? multiple weapons on this one. There are different points with these two guys, too. Dead awaits free Roma Solari. Interesting. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining me for the Indie Buffet. I hope you find your next favorite indie. Peace.